Earlier, we covered the medium clear aspect, red over green, which indicates medium speed through turnouts, crossovers, sidings, or switches, then proceed at maximum authorized speed. In this example at Lakeland Connection, the turnout is reversed, which will send the train off the main onto a new subdivision, medium speed through this turnout. This lineup is for an Orlando coal train coming empty from the plant and turning northward and eventually back to a mine somewhere. Here's the same signal location, but a different aspect, a different indication for a different routing. Yellow over green makes this an approach medium. Proceed approaching next signal not exceeding medium speed. Running on a clear behind us, he's getting this slowdown to medium speed because of what's happening at the next signal. See it up there on the signal cantilever ahead? Red over yellow makes it a medium approach medium speed through turnouts, crossovers, or sidings, then proceed prepared to stop at the next signal ahead, medium approach. Train 0714 is returning to its home base at Winston Yard. The dispatcher is moving him from single track onto track two and downhill three miles to the yard lead. That next signal down there may be red or the switch may be lined against him or both. Thus, proceed prepared to stop at the next signal. Here's another medium approach at Densmore Connection in Jacksonville. Only two heads on this signal, a red over yellow with no red below, but still the exact same indication as the medium approach at Lakeland. Now look at this signal in Folkestone, Georgia. Red over yellow like at Lakeland, but then a flashing green on the bottom. The flashing green down there makes that medium approach a medium approach medium. Medium speed through turnouts, crossovers, or sidings, then approach the next signal not exceeding medium speed. Likely the train coming will go through a turnout at this signal, then another one a few miles ahead. On the seaboard system, remember, the signals are all about speed. Here's another country heard from. This signal protects Honeymoon Y in Jacksonville. It's not a turning Y, it's a mainline connection from the Tallahassee seaboard line to the Waycross ACL Main. The signal, two reds over a yellow, is a slow approach. Slow speed over turnouts, crossovers, sidings, or switches, then proceed prepared to stop at the next signal. This line makes a gentle swing to the right, then a hard left into the junction known as Beaver Street. And once again, don't let those reds above confuse you. A friend who was a railroad conductor school instructor told me once, if it ain't all red, it ain't red at all. A very helpful axiom. The signal is for Y108, a transfer job moving intermodal traffic from Duval Ramp into Moncrief Yard. Coming up behind Y108 is Q178, an intermodal road train, but he's getting this restricting because the Y108 is still in the next block ahead. Remember, restricting is any signal aspect that contains a lunar white light and it indicates proceed at a speed that will permit stopping within half the range of your vision or slow enough to stop short of any obstruction, in no case faster than 15 miles per hour. Just seconds later, the signal improves to an approach. The yellow on top indicates proceed, prepared to stop at the next signal ahead. Q178 is coming up behind the yard job into Moncrief Yard.
Here's one that confused me for years. I don't know a formula or a trick to remembering it. I just memorized yellow over yellow. Advance approach. Remember that an approach means proceed prepared to stop at the next signal, slowing down to medium speed when the engine passes the approach. Advance approach indicates proceed prepared to stop at the second signal. We're at the Sanford Sunrail stop on the Central Florida Rail Corridor, ex Atlantic Coastline, Maine, the A Line. The next signal up from here is the crossover and lead to Rand's Yard, and that signal is likely displaying an approach. The second signal is for the Lake Monroe drawbridge, and it's possible that that span is not yet down and locked, or it's possible that the bridge tender has to do some confirmative action before a train can cross. In any case, Amtrak 52, the northbound auto train, running on an advance approach, must proceed by here prepared to stop at the second signal ahead. I caught this signal recently at Tampa's Rockport Y. The signal protects both the north end of Sutton siding and the turnout to Rockport Yard. Remember what a green over red indicates? If you said clear, you're right. The red on the bottom has no meaning in the aspect. All the crew sees here is that high green. Proceed at maximum authorized speed for your train on this track. That clear signal at Rockport means the same as this one in Plant City or this one at Dinsmore in Jacksonville, or this one at Winston, Florida, although this one at Winston is a different category signal. Note the P below the lights. That P indicates this is a permissive signal, and that opens up a whole new signal category. At Winston, Florida, this is Danny Harmon, out.